use horses as emotional and physical therapy for uh, children and adults with um, special needs. Oh, it is uh, has wonderful benefits. If you are, uh, we have we have kids with um, cerebral palsy, for instance, who either are in wheelchairs or in um, use walkers to walk. And as you can imagine, they can't walk like a normal person. We put them up on a horse, and a horse emulates a human walking. So they get the feel of that, and it also builds up their core muscle strength. So it helps them sit up straight, straighter, helps them breathe better, just makes them feel better overall. And uh, for the others, like with autism, and, and we have other my, like mild uh, retardation, um, things like that, then it builds up their um, um, self-esteem. It helps them um, become more uh, self-assured and maybe uh, a little uh, better, more socially adapted to, you know, communicating. And they connect with the horse, so it's it's emotional benefit as well. There was it was over in Matt Tune called the it's always been the Paradise Question Therapy Center, and they had done it for like maybe 10 years, and they decided they were going to retire. So they were trying to find somebody to take it over and stuff, and we just happened to have a mutual friend that called me up and asked me if I'd be interested, and I'm like, well, I'll check into it, and just kind of snowballed from there, so. Because so, it's all done, you know, nobody gets paid here. It's all strictly volunteer, all our volunteers. I mean, you know, they're just awesome. We have some really great ones from Eastern Lakeland College. They get, uh, uh, you know, class credit for doing it, so every spring and fall semester we have a bunch of them that come some volunteers, so. Um, I don't know, it just it just must have been the right thing. We used to have horse shows, rodeos, all kind of things for like 10, 15 years and it just kind of got burnt out and this just happened to be a great thing. So mm -hmm. it's just really great to watch the kids and the parents. So yeah. really My daughter is seven years old and she was diagnosed last year with selective mutism. And she's on, yesterday was her fourth session here and it's been amazing because I've seen such a change in her. And usually, she, you know, is very quiet and people are not, are used to her not speaking or just talking to me and so they don't pay mind to her. And the other day coming home from school, because I have daycare kids, and they're all sitting there in the back and, you know, she's trying to talk to them and they're ignoring her and she turns around and yells at them, I'm trying to tell you something. And it's, and it was just like, <laughs> guys, quit ignoring her, <laughs> you know, because normally she doesn't. You know, she won't speak up for herself or anything. And, and she actually spoke to her principal and said thank you. And I mean, this this is just, I mean, it's been amazing. It's, uh, it's boosted up her self-confidence. Um, usually, you know, little kids like to climb and do things. She never did. And now with her being on the horse and stuff, it's helped with her balance and stuff. And now I'm having to yell at her, quit climbing on the furniture, quit doing this, because it has boosted her confidence and balance so much and it's only been four sessions so I'm really excited to see what you know what's gonna happen and she's already riding by herself with, with without any sidewalk or anything which is just amazing and she's just really excited and she loves coming here.